Yo, before I start off the video, I would like to say an, a couple things. First, I want to announce the team I was on this season, LEV, has won Shell League. It's kind of crazy, I'm not going to lie. Um, I carried my team this game. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Kind of crazy. You know, the first SL game I played, I went 0-4. Kind of crazy. This is SL General. And... Uh, and, yeah, I want to credit Sharkbox for making this, and Grace Ocean for giving me the idea to do this. And Rio for reminding me that it existed. Okay, anyways, let's get on... To the tier list. Also, opinion warning. You will not agree with probably anything I say in this video. I will admit, I have a very strange taste in maps. Me, personally, I think it's good. Because a lot of people just see a new map and immediately shit on it. But I'm not trying to do that. Anyways. Bastion. A tier. A lot of people dislike this map, but I personally like it quite a bit. It's fun for King of the Coops and Scrims access moved down to a B tier. It's kind of mid. Uh, it's like low A, high B. I'll just put it in A tier, actually. It's pretty fun. Um, it's not the best map. It has some things that are uh, bad about it, but... It's overall pretty decent map. Okay, Biohazard. Yeah. Um, Biohazard is very, 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 very uh, extraordinarily annoying to play on. Uh. But yeah, it's kind of, uh, uh, it's too, it's too open. It's way too open. It's not F tier. It's not D tier. It's C tier. It's mid. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's bad. It's just, it just is what it is. Okay. And I'm going to move Bastion down to B now. Okay. Blender. Oh my God. This map is amazing. I love it for scrims. I love it for King of the Coop. I love it for FFA. I love it for everything. This map is a work of art. Blue. Blue's a decent A tier. Blue's a good map. Uh, I think I've just played on it too much. That I've got a little bored of it. Castle Arena's uh, B. It's a pretty good map. Pretty fun. Uh, if you want a 1v1 somebody? On a close range. Perfect map. Castles, A tier. The reason it's not an S, because I've played on it too much. Castle needs no introduction. Catacombs. Oh, I want to put this in A tier, but... Because of the bug that used to be on it. If you didn't play when the bug existed... You wouldn't know, but there was a bug where you could fall out of the map and, like, go all the way. You, you'd just be able to go freaking crazy on it. Everybody'd be out of bounds. It'd be crazy. But now it's kind of C tier. It's kind of mid. Quick ground to S tier. Uh, fun for skins. Fun for King of the Coop. Fun for everything. A really well around des good designed map. I like the color scheme, too. This feels nice. Death bit. It's a solid... C tier. It's actually this is a D tier. It's not the best map ever. Dirt 2. Dirt 2, I think, is easily one of the best maps in the game. It's so fun. Even though I think it was like copied from a game, it's so fun. Wow. Okay. Opinion warning. Dirt base is, guess what? It is the 
one of the best maps in the game. Like, this was my favorite map for a very long time. If you've never played on this map, go play on it right now. It is so fun. It's really good for 1v1s. And yeah. Okay, dirt. Dirt's... It's okay. It's a, it's a pretty good map. The the glitch is fixed. If it still had the glitch, it'd be S tier. Anyways, downfall. This map is so underrated. Uh, but it's still a B. It's not like the best map ever invented, but it's still good. Dual pyramid. Yeah, I wouldn't put it in F tier. It's not good. Scratch that. This is F tier. It's a terrible map. It's too close. It's just too close. It's really buggy too because the slopes make the slope hitboxes are very bad in this game. You shoot like next to it and it gets some invisible hitbox. V blot. It's extraordinarily mid. Let's go in there. Field. Field to D tier. I don't like field that much. Fort flip. Hmm. I don't know if it's S or A or B tier. Uh, so I'm going to put an A tier. It's a good map. Uh, it really shines in King of the Coop, in my opinion. It's just really well designed. There's a lot of walls and open areas. Like, if this map is good for any play style. If you like playing passive, there's a bunch of hides. If you like playing aggressive, there's a bunch of open areas. Okay, four quarters. D tier. I don't really know if I have to explain that. Haunted. C tier. I also don't think I need to explain that. Helix. Helix, Helix, Helix. Everybody thought it was the best map when it released, but in my opinion, it is extraordinarily mid. Okay, Jailbreak. A tier. Actually, no, B tier. This map is very fun for FFA. That's all I have to say. Jinx, this is a very recent map, and BWD has gotten better at map making, in my opinion, recently. It's an A tier. It's fun. Okay, Junction, again, another recent map. It's, um... It's B tier. It's a good map. I like it. Um... King's Core S tier. This map is righteously good no pun intended moon base no i got got to give it some slack it's <laughs> kind of bad it's got an interesting concept could have been executed better mud gulch i love of mud gulch but not enough for it to be an s here let's just put it in the very front of A tier. Okay, Overcooked. Okay, hold on. I've got to remember what this map looks like. Okay, let's remember what it looked like. Um, yeah. You go there. Palace Siege. You go here. Ooh. Ugh. This is just bigger dual pyramid. It's... If you... If, yeah, it just doesn't work. I'm not gonna lie. Dude, when this first came out, it was bad. It was really bad. I did not like it. Rivals, easy S tier. Rivals is one of the best uh, 2v2 and uh, 1v1 maps in the game. Road. Roads. A C, it's a B tier. It's a B tier. It's not terrible. It's not amazing. Ruins, ruins my beloved. It's going in a tier. Um, it's I like that it's open. It's just too open. You can't play close range on it very well. Scales. Mm. Uh, I don't like this map's design. I do not like it. If you're on the top of the tower, you can see the entire map. It is. It's really annoying. Shellville's S tier. I don't think I need to explain that. Shipyard's S tier. I don't think I need to explain that either. Skyscratcher. 
you go right into D tier. It'd be an F tier if I didn't have nostalgia for it. Space Arena's F tier. Space Arena's doo doo. It's the bad map. Space Factory, though, is an A tier. I scrim on this. It's so fun. If you get to know the map, it is so fun. Sparta's. Like. C tier. <laughs> it's kind of mid. I'm not going to lie. Stage. Oh, I don't know how I feel about this map. I think it's okay. Don't think it's amazing, but I just think it's okay. I think it's like easier. Stax Arena's F tier. Stax Arena sucks, doo doo. I had to play on this in Shell League last season. It was horrible. It sucked so much. Temples in A tier. I love this map so much. It's so good. Train Yards also an A tier. Two Towers S tier. This map is so good. Wreckage. Also S tier. It's also really, really good. Let's see. Enchanted. Also F tier. For the maps that weren't there that I can think of off the top of my head. Crow's Nest, F tier. Um, Growlers, S tier. Uh, so I think of some more. I never mind. I can't. Anyways, if you like it, good. If you don't like it, bad. I will see you.